Hi, this is Julia again, um, third year medical student. So let's take a look at this EKG. First thing I notice, we will be counting the rate. And because you notice that it's very irregular, we are going to be using the rhythm strip rule. So this is a 10 second rhythm strip. And so if we just count the number of peaks, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, so 11 times 6, this is about 66 beats per minute. We also notice that overall, if um, we're going to be looking for P waves before every QRS, and I don't see um, a regular P wave. This is here, 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 here. I don't really see one here, so I can't really say that there is a P wave before every QRS. Therefore, this is irregular and it is not sinus. Another thing that you can notice is that each ventricular contraction is occurring at irregular beats. So this distance is longer than this distance, and then it kind of elongates a little more again and a little again. So we can say that this is an irregular, irregular beat, and therefore we can classify this as atrial fibrillation. This was fairly easy. There's overall low voltage because the atria is fibrillating and the ventricles are trying to contract, but it is not a regular rhythm. So the next one I wanted to show you guys is kind of related to this. It's a 68-year-old male with fatigue and dyspnea, and something that is also part of the history is that this patient has been on digitalis. Um, if you look at the leads, there is overall low voltage in all the leads as well. Another thing that you can notice is that the ventricles are contracting at fairly regular beats. And so this patient is actually experiencing digitalis effect and digitalis toxicity. Some of the things that we look for in digitalis toxicity is, well, before I mention that, digitalis is a drug that basically cuts off um, the AV node, and so it causes something like a complete heart block. Um, some characteristic things that you want to look for are sagging ST segment depressions, which you can see in lead 2 right here. It's like a little smiley face, and here as well. Another thing you want to look for is a decreased T wave amplitude. So here we see decreased T wave, decreased T wave, as well as V3 and AVF. And there's a little another, there's a little um, notch over here after the T wave. It's not quite the P wave. This is called a U wave, and it's indicative of hypokalemia, so very low potassium. So those three things, a regular rhythm, low voltage, um, sagging ST depressions, and a U wave are very indicative, or the constellation of findings, I would say, is very indicative of digitalis toxicity. Um, Another way Dr. Benzer describes this is a regular, irregular heartbeat. So it's an AFib that has gone into a regular rhythm. So that's it for you.